Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our answer runner mentions new game minus four video, episode three. And it's been like a couple days since I recorded last episode. Um we can get fifth time dimensions, which is gonna help. Can't get sixth ones yet. And I think at this point I should just going start going for the dimensions themselves. I would say it definitely does it does speed up a little bit after the second dimension. I feel like you need the fourth dimensions for things to really start picking up, though. Because it, it's it's just slow before before that. Like what? Like it? It just needs so many tick speed upgrades, so many dimensions, just so much everything to really actually get some actual speed here. And maybe this run that I start going for more dimension boosts. Which will be interesting. I'm not sure if they're gonna reset time dimensions. If they don't, that's like it's gonna make it's gonna revolutionize New Game Minus Four, because I can do these resets and I don't really have to war. I I don't. I can essentially keep the speed relatively up. So, unfortunately, it just takes a while for everything to start giving me some of the speed. But once I get fourth dimensions, it speeds up to the like to the point of. Yeah, I already said this. This is the point of, like, vanilla answer our dimensions. Which is crazy for a new game minus, 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 minus. Okay, so it's been about a day or, or so, and I can get... Uh, I have EA answer matter because this is hexadecimal. This means we can get the sixth time dimension, which is pretty cool. We can only get one. The cost scaling is pretty insane on that. So, I need ten of them. But we can get the normal dimensions. And actually, if we just I just pressed M there, we can do dimension boost. Or dimension shift. So, the time dimensions do reset. That is very, very annoying because... That, that means I have to do this early grind all over again. And this is the worst part of... Of this... Of the new game minus four, the early part. Like once you can get it going, it's fine. But it's it's unfortunately it's not going to be revolutionary. I I really thought it could be revolutionary, but no. I I'm gonna have to just do this waiting game every time I do a dimension boost. I thought that the time dimensions did not reset. That's what I thought because dimension boost is a lower layer than time dimension. Dimension shift is a lower layer than time dimension shift. I would think that the time dimensions would not be reset because the um, so then I would have like more tick speed upgrades, which means that you know I would actually I could actually start get I could get going essentially, but no, I'm gonna need to do this every time. This is. This is New Game Minus, 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 Minus. That's, you know, this is what New Game Minus, 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 Minus really is. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back after a few days on New Game Minus 4. And we have 397 free tick speed upgrades, plus some here. So, it's going to give us a, a good multiplier to all our dimensions. And since we can get some of these third dimensions here, we can actually... It feels like we can actually progress at a good amount, especially when we start getting more than five. That gives us a, a decent multiplier on every dimension. Then we can also get this tick speed upgrade. We can also get this entire per 10 thing and a whole nother tick speed upgrade. We can get even two. Maybe we can even get some time dimensions here. Yes, we can. It's cost the exact same thing. I think getting the sixth time dimension is a little more important. Now we can get our tick speed upgrade. Let me get that cheap, and I will just help me get even more tick speed upgrades. If, yeah, 397 is obviously not enough. So, we can get the fourth dimensions. Yes, like, we're doing this all in one sitting. Like, there's no... It, it's... New Game Minus 4 is getting faster. It's not fast yet, but there are definitely many signs of pretty big speed up. Here's another tick Tick speed upgrade. Seems like it's not in sync with with, with the cost for the dimensions. I, I I'm actually wonder why. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the notations and like just go to scientific. This is E10 versus 
um, 6E9 for some reason. I have no idea why it's different, but whatever, I'm, I'm just doing it in hexadecimal, so, because that's, um, yeah, this is hexadecimal. It, it, it almost looks just like regular scientific, but no, it, it's not. But we're up to E9 and hexadecimal. It's, okay, I need EA, Electronic Arts, yeah, that, um, <laughs> for, to get anything else. But we're actually, there it is, fifth dimension gives us an achievement for getting the fifth dimension for the first time. It's crazy, this is like the first time getting the fifth dimension because this game is, is ridiculous. And all I need is 10 fifth dimensions and then I can dimension shift again, so I can get even more dimensions. Remember, I think, no, I, I, I keep thinking this as a reward. No, it does not, but I do get an, an achievement row, which I think will really help. But anyway, here it is. I now have six times multiplier on the first dimension, and uh, yeah, it's still slow. It's still really slow. I, st I still just need to build up all those tick speed upgrades for me to actually make progression. At least it's a little faster, like I can get up to 1 20th of an antimatter per second of an antimatter. <laughs> yeah, I know. In like 10 to 15 seconds. But yeah, I'm just gonna come back when, again, we just have a good amount of tick speed upgrades. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I am back in New Game Minus 4. I can get third dimensions here, I can get a few more tick speed upgrades, and then I can... I can't quite get six time dimensions. I can't get fifth times time dimensions, which is good enough probably at this point. And um, yeah, it's 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 weird. New game minus. I, I, I you just need to get it going. And once you get it going, it's it's actually it's really not bad at all. And here is our sixth time dimension to so start producing fifth time dimensions. And yeah, there's, there's not much I can do here, but all I need is 10 sixth dimensions to do another dimension shift. And I'm, I'm hoping that I can get an antimatter galaxy, and that, that's going to be the big sort of mechanic. It, it's it's interesting, like, this this is the higher layer. How, however, you're going to still try to get these lower layers so you can get to an even higher layer, because it says lose all your previous products but get a tick speed boost, even though... Where even are tick speed boosts from New Game Minus Minus Minus? Maybe I just haven't unlocked them yet, and I have no idea, but there is there is something called a tick speed boost that is introduced in min New Game Minus 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 that I don't see here. Let's see, there's, there's not... I guess I can get that, because it's cheap, and there's nothing else I can really get here. Getting these does really help, because it, it boosts this multiplier of... Um, on all dimensions, and I need, okay, A is not going to be not that bad, it's, it's E, EA, I know, but I wonder what the sixth dimensions are going to do to me, like, I feel like the sixth, the sixth dimension is probably going to be like E, or E, D, or E, E, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but it, it's, it's going to be a lot, and this is actually, I feel like this is slower than before. That's yeah, because I only have 375 tick speed upgrades, not 397. I think that does make a difference because each tick upgrade is 1.05 times. So I think if I have like a 397 tick speed upgrade, that's probably like like a good multiplier to every dimension. Yeah, E, E, that's what I need to get. I need to actually get E, F to get the... To get the dimension shift so it is it is tough to just get get all this like it it, it, it is like these percentages are going up but they're only they're barely in the double digits they're all they're so i unfortunately it's just this is just very slow no matter what so i i get i guess i can get this but really i mean i could try to gr grind all the way to e F. I mean, actually, there are two things here we can get, which actually gives us some hope for for a good progression speed. Like, we're getting this, like, in five seconds, which is really good. And, yeah, the next time dimension shift is nowhere near, un unfortunately. I just need to get more antimatter, and just this is, yeah, this is really 
tough. I I really want this achievement row multiplier because the achievement rows. Um, I, I in minus in new game minus minus in new game minus 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 they give you a five times multiplier on all dimensions. You know how powerful that that sort of boost is in like this part of the game. Like th that that's crazy getting getting that powerful of a multiplier. So yeah, there's not much I can do with with this with new game minus four. I like this is why I I think. I would say, at least according to the time I'm saying this, I think new game minus 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 with three minuses is the best because um, if you've seen, new game minus minus just gets really slow at random points. And here's a, here's the achievement for getting the first sixth dimension. So I guess that's pretty cool. But yeah, minus minus is just slow in some spots while... Um, this game, you know how slow it is right now. New game minus four is ridiculous. There's even a new game minus five. I've probably already told you that, like, many times. But whatever, we are going to dimen dimension shift. And yeah, that's pretty exciting just to do this. Let let's see, we're getting 0 0 0.011 antimatter per second. This goes up at a decent clip, like we can reach you can probably reach as much as 0.01 antimatter per second each additional tick speed upgrade is actually now giving me a more um a, a boost to this number that's more that is more than just 0. 0.00 0. 0.001 so i guess i guess it's it's get it's getting better but it's still nowhere near at a good spot at this point so like, I'm, I'm just going to grind the next dimension shift. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back at New Game Minus 4, and I can actually get all the way to the 7th dimension without even trying. And also, we have 524 tick speed upgrades. So, yeah, that, that's all I was really going to say. There's not not much. And actually, there is a lot. Like, I, I can get two tick speed upgrades. I can get all these. But I can't really make any actual progression until I get... Eighth dimensions, even though it's fun. Yes, I'm now over 10% of the way to to infinity, and infinity is, I think, like the end of New Game Minus Four. So that's, I, I guess that's pretty exciting, and it's sort of fun to just get as much antimatter as we can because of our insane amount of tick speed upgrades. But no, it's it's better just to get the just to get the dimension shift. As as boring as as it is, because now I have to do this grind all over again. And, yeah, there's not really much interesting I'm going to do until I get this eighth dimension. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.